Moose. I'm your host, Nancy Boyle. And today we're going to be talking about two events coming up in January that you won't want to miss, especially if you're thinking of starting a business or if you currently have a business and you're thinking of hiring your first employee. Joining me on the first half of our show is Janice Donaldson, who's the Regional Director of the Small Business Development Center at UNF. Welcome, Janice. Thank you, Nancy. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? Good. Um, tell us a little bit about what you do at the SBDC and some of the services available to businesses. Okay. Well, I'm the Regional Director of the Small Business Development Center, and our region that operates out of the University of North Florida covers 18 counties. So we have offices in Ocala and Gainesville and in St. Augustine and Citrus County and and all across Jacksonville and, and other areas as well. So um, what we do primarily is we provide counseling, training, and information to people that want to grow their businesses or people that are interested in starting a business. Well, and certainly the emphasis I know at the SBDC and, and through the media is job creation. Right. So tell us a little bit about this brand new workshop you all are going to be doing in January. Okay. Well, we actually have a two-pronged approach to that whole job creation, which is our number one goal in the Small Business Development Center. And we have some programs that are designed to help growing businesses, businesses that are rapidly growing and already have more than five full-time employees. And we call those our growth acceleration services. But we also think there's a real market for job creation among much smaller businesses, startups that need employees from day one, as well as the 54,000 plus self-employed people in Duval County that have no employees. Let's repeat that statistic again. 54,000 independent self-employed people with no employees. With no employees. Hmm. So, I wonder what would happen if we could get them to create a job. That's our, <clears throat> our thought exactly. What if we got just a small fraction of those companies to actually have the wherewithal and the know-how and the comfort zone to create a job, their first job, and hire their first employee. So, tell us about the workshop. All right. Uh, the workshop is a two-hour workshop. The first one will be held on January the 25th. Uh, from 8.30 to 10.30 in the morning at UNF. And the whole idea for this workshop came from our national conference. We have a, a national organization of small business development centers. And there was a workshop on how to hire your first employee. And I was very intrigued by it. And what I found was they already had developed the workshop. They had developed a book. Um, and the book is Hire Your First Employee. And um, it comes as a part of the workshop registration fee, you get this book. Okay. And it's full of worksheets and, and tips and ideas. And, and the actual author of the book, Rhonda Abrams, was the one who presented the workshop. So I was just really uh, impressed with the amount of information and the quality of the information. So we decided we would um, offer the workshop here in Jacksonville. So what's your expectation as a result of this workshop? Well, obviously the expectation would be, can we make it easier for people to create jobs? We're getting a lot of clients in our office that are saying, you know, my business is starting to really grow and pick up, and I know I cannot grow past a certain level without hiring an employee. But they say it's so complicated, there's so much paperwork, it costs so much, I'm not sure how to be a good boss, I don't know how to, you know, it works. Mm -hmm. So we want to take the mystery out of that. We want to talk about the difference between an independent contractor and an employee. We want to talk about the legal ramifications. We want to talk about how to know when you need your first employee, how to write a job description, how to understand what you actually need before you hire. So, um, you know, there are a lot of really good tips and points that I think it would make it a lot easier for people to feel comfortable with hiring their first employee. Now, when is the workshop being held? It's the 25th of January. Uh, and it's from 8.30 to 10.30 in the morning at UNF, and it's $20. Okay, and if somebody is interested in registering or finding out inf more information, what do they need to do? Well, they can go to our website, which is www.sbdc.unf.edu, or they can call our office at 620-2476 and register. And they can do online registration or get their credit card information over the phone, and we're happy to sign them up. Okay, so that really is geared to the first employee. Yes. Hiring the first employee. 
So tell us a little bit about some of the other programs that are geared to maybe more established businesses or a little bit larger businesses. Maybe they already have a couple of employees, um, but they're interested in growing. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the programs available? Well, as I mentioned, we have a whole new suite of services called the Growth Acceleration Services, and it's designed for companies with more than 500,000 in annual sales, five to 20 full-time employees that have been in business for three years or more. So that focuses on providing them with the information and tools, financial analysis, competitive analysis, market data, to help them grow even faster and add more employees. Uh, as a part of that, we also have a CEO exchange program, which is a peer group roundtable program for CEOs of non-competing businesses. Um, in addition, we have our Procurement Technical Assistance Center, which is a program that helps people that want businesses that want to sell to the government, federal, state, or local government, or subcontract with large prime contractors. So we have a full-time specialist that helps those businesses um, either first time selling to the government or just want to break into a new uh, area of government sales. And then we also have a brand new program in international trade called our STEP program. And it's a grant through Enterprise Florida where we're actually developing international marketing plans for small clients. First time they've exported or they're considering exporting and they want to evaluate a market, we could help them with that, actually prepare the, the market plan. Yeah. Prepare the market plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I've got a business and I've been selling widgets here in Jacksonville for a while and now I think I've wanted to sell them to I don't know, Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I would be a candidate then for yes, this program. Yes, okay. you would. You have to have, you have to meet some criteria and obviously you have to have strong domestic sales, um, you know, to fit into that, that um, eligibility criteria. But you could already be exporting as well to just one country. A vast majority of exporters export to just one country. So the question is, can we help them identify a like country, do the research necessary, prepare the market plan and you know, then they feel like they can make a selection on which to which country to expand into. Now, is this a, like a series of workshops? No, the the international marketing plan is really a a program where they would meet with a certified business analyst. Um, we have an assigned international trade specialist that's a certified business analyst. They would meet with Stacy. She would work with them individually and prepare that marketing plan. So it's really not a workshop. It's more individual assistance. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. So, what else have we got on the plate for our, our business owners out there in the world? Well, um, I think, you know, a lot of times um, people forget that we do also work with startup businesses. Um, but we do that primarily through training. So, we've just finalized our whole set of training programs, our startup series. How to start your own business, marketing 101, business planning, um, accounting and taxes, QuickBooks, you know, all the things that new startup businesses need. So, you know, you can take 15 to 18 hours of training and get a certificate uh, in that startup series. So, um, you know, that might be certainly, at, with the start of a new year, people are thinking, well, you know, maybe I'd, start a new business. I'd like to start a new business. Okay. So. Well, let's go back to hiring your first employee mm -hmm. and let's go ahead and give the date and uh, contact information sure. um, so that those of our audience who are interested in this, you know, again, a new year, starting new things. If I'm self-employed, maybe a new year is a really good time for me to think about bringing on that first employee. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it's January 25th from 8.30 okay. to 10.30 at UNF in the University Center, $20 per person, and they can call 620-2476 to register or go to our website at www.sbdc.unf.edu. Okay, great. Well, Janice, thank you for being with us today. Thank you in the audience for joining us, but don't go away because when we come back, we're going to talk about a really intensive way to start a business. So, stay tuned. Never look a howler monkey in the eye. We built the entire library out of recycled bottles. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our, in our rainstorm. Really? That was a confidence builder. My students actually ended up teaching me. So I learned this dance. I'll show you this dance. In la keg, a la keen. The classroom was, was more of a class tent. I think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. My alarm clock was a rooster. Beans for breakfast, beans for lunch, beans for dinner. We ate a lot of beans. I learned a third language. My seatmate on the bus was a goat. Always include the village elders. 
always. My morning commute was by canoe. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the world. Welcome back to Speaking of Business. On the second half of our show, we're going to be talking about a very exciting event coming to Jacksonville for the first time, and it's geared for those of you who want to start a business. Uh, joining me on my immediate right is Ujwala Rangoli, uh, who is the event director for the I Start Jacksonville weekend, MJ Sharmani, who is also with I Start Jacksonville, as well as the Indo-US Chamber of Commerce. And finally, all the way around is Lisa Daniels, who's with the Jacks Chamber, as well as I Start Jacksonville Incorporated. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, what I'd like to do is I'm going to start with Lisa. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, tell us about what you do at the Chamber. And we'll kind of go down the aisle to just sort of talk a little bit about what it is that you do in your regular work life. And then we'll jump into the whole I Start thing, OK? Yes, I am the Director of Public Relations and Communications at the Jacks Chamber, and I do all the marketing and responsible for the social media and all the promotion of, of all of the things that we do at the uh, Jacks Chamber. Okay, great. MJ, tell us about what you do. You know, uh, I am an employee at uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Florida's uh, Information Technology Group. Uh, I also work as uh, Executive Director for Indo-US Chamber of Commerce, uh, as well as uh, founder and the chairman of uh, I Start Jacks, a newly formed, uh, newly formed uh, nonprofit business accelerator for microenterprises in Northeast Florida. Okay, and Ujwala, tell us about what you do. Yeah. I work at the Information Technology Division of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Florida. I'm also an executive director of um, iStar Jacks, which is founded uh, to help microenterprises. Okay. Now, I know, MJ, you were the first one that um, came to us and told us about this uh, event coming up. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this Startup Weekend? Right. The Startup <laughs> Weekend is actually a Silicon Valley-based company founded in 2007 by Andrew Hyde. His idea was to connect the entrepreneurs and uh, uh, grow jobs, create jobs, and uh, launch startups all in 54 hours. And within a few years, it has become a worldwide movement, uh, creating about uh, 3,000 3, startups and 30,000 entrepreneurs. And there have been about 300 uh, startup weekends all over the world. This is happening in Beijing. This is happening in Belgium, happening in Bangalore. And uh, in Florida, we had it in Tampa, Miami, Tallahassee, the one which I went to. And now we're bringing this to Jacksonville. Uh, through I Start Jacks, uh, like I mentioned, it's a business accelerator. This is going to be our flagship event, and we are partnering with Indo-US Chamber of Commerce, not this Florida, and also uh, Jacks Chamber. This is a 54 hours way of uh, taking your idea and making it a company. We call it that, taking your idea to inception or concepts to creation. All happens in 54 hours. And when we say 54 hours on weekend, it starts on Friday at 6.30. Friday 6.30, you walk into this event with an idea that you have, or maybe you want to work on somebody else's idea. Uh, startup enthusiasts, technologists, you know, non-technical people, technical people all gather. It's, it's kind of based on uh, the concept called crowdsourcing. So uh, you come into this event with uh, ideas are, you know, in, in, a, in, a, um, in an ambition to work with other ideas. So uh, it takes you through a systematic approach and a proven platform, a proven format uh, that on Saturday you will be meeting with the mentors. And on Sunday evening, you will actually uh, put in front of the judges uh, what you have done, the prototype that you have developed, the business plan you have put together. And then uh, judges will uh, select the top ranking ideas and uh, there but thereby we, we, we go ahead and create those uh, startups and it's a very intensive turbocharged environment uh, 54 hours I think that's important for you in the audience to understand this is 54 hours straight it starts at 6.30 on Friday night. What yes. weekend? January? It, uh, January 20th, 21st, 22nd. January 20th, 21st, and 22nd. 6.30 on Friday night, and then on Sunday evening, you come out with a business plan. Yeah. And prototypes. And, and, and prototypes. perhaps funding for your business, is that correct? Is there? Yes, yes. And we will have uh, uh, many of our sponsors provide in kind services. I guess Ujwala has a list of those <laughs> that they will go over. Um, uh, yes, we do have a lot of sponsors, so local uh, businesses, CPAs, attorneys. They're all helping us to put together in kind services that the winners will take away. And all these 
uh, the, the prizes that we give away are for winners to continue work on their startup companies. So, but I mean, this is pretty seriously intensive way yep. to get started. Yep. So if somebody is really serious about starting a business, yep. um, you know, sometimes it can draw mm -hmm. out and go on and then you lose interest. So being able to concentrate on this, I think, is really interesting. Usually, you're the event director of the Jacksonville event. So why don't you tell us, in, uh, I mean, MJ's given us an idea of the agenda, but maybe you can share with us some more specifics about this particular event here in town. Of course. Yeah, we have an event committee, and uh, I'm the event director, and committee is working full force. Everybody is really excited. We are um, targeting uh, the efforts on various fronts. Marketing events are really going on. Um, we are using social media, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Facebook to market the event. Uh, we are using programs like this to advertise on TV, local newspapers, um, actively working with our various contacts. Um, we are actively uh, recruiting mentors, judges, and speakers for the event. Uh, President John Delaney will be the keynote speaker for the event on Friday. Uh, we have reached out to the mayor's office. Uh, we have reached out to various organizations um, here in town um, and people who have been there, who have been there, done that successfully, who are serial entrepreneurs to be mentors or judges. Uh, we have um, the marketing effort is in full swing too. Uh, we have sponsors who are sponsoring the event. Uh, like uh, MJ said, Jack's Chamber, Indo-US Chambers are the partners. But um, University of North Florida, Coggin Business at UNF, uh, Small Business Development Center is um, one of the sponsors. Uh, Microsoft and various other companies, their local offices, they are sponsoring the event. Um, and we are again reaching out to various other institutions like uh, Jacksonville University, University of Florida, uh, so that uh, we can have um, participants from there as well. We are actively recruiting participants. Uh, the website um, jacksonville.startupweekend.org is there. Um, and there is a register, people can go on and register on the website. It's, um, and as the time goes along, the efforts are um, going on, along, and it's all coming together. <clears throat> now, if somebody were to have a question, is there a phone number that they can call for information, or um, should everybody be directed to the website? Yeah. The website is better. Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to put out an FAQ there, and every uh, thing that you would probably want to know about the event is out there. We have some uh, videos that we have put out uh, from uh, Startup Week in Philadelphia, Startup Week in New Zealand. So you can take a look at those videos. Uh, if you have any questions, December 10th, we are having a pre-event kickoff, and uh, definitely want to make sure that people who are interested, please do join us on December 10th at 1.30 at the Southeast Regional Library. Uh, we will kind of walk them through uh, what the event looks like. Any questions they have, we will answer them right there. And let's get that website out again. It's jacksonville.startupweekend.org. That's, That's right. right. OK. Mm -hmm. Lisa, I don't want to leave you out. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the Chamber's involvement? I mean, you're a sponsor, but how else are you participating in the event? We are actively participating in and promoting the event primarily. So we are very engaged. We are very excited about this event. We think that this is a wonderful opportunity to energize our entrepreneurial community, to um, create jobs, and to actually start new companies in just 54 hours. So we are so excited to have this event here and to help promote the event and throughout this month and through January. We really encourage people to register before December 21st, so there's no hesitation. They can <laughs> register today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if they register by December 21st. Uh, the price is only $75, which is a great day, great deal for three days and several meals and snacks and coffee throughout the weekend. And then after December 21st, it's $99. Okay, yep. so prior to December 21st, Registration is $75. That is such a bargain. <laughs> $75 after December 21st, it goes to $99. That is right. And where yep. is this being held? Yeah, and it's at the, un oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's, okay. it's at the University of North Florida, so in the student center. Okay. And we're very excited to be having it right there, right there in the center of our community, really. It's a thriving area in the south side, and so many students involved as well. We'd, we hope to have lots of student involvement. And for students, it's $50. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. That is also good to know. So yeah. it's at UNF in the Student Center. Yep. Student, a student Union Hall. Student Union. Building. Yep. Uh, January 20th through the 
22nd. 22nd. Uh, 75 before December 21st, 99 after December 21st. And uh, the $75, uh, Nancy, just want to bring this up. The $75 not only includes uh, three dinners, two lunches, and breakfast, and non-stop beverages and snacks that we're going to provide, uh, keep the energy on. It will also include hundreds and thousands of dollars of uh, free uh, access to technology that uh, some of our global sponsors, such as Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Twilio, they're all going to be opening up their uh, the resources to participants to access their technology and build solutions on them. So also, there are going to be mentors available from these organizations locally present there to help guide uh, the participants. Which was a, a question I was going to ask you. Do you recommend that people bring their laptops, or th will there be some computers that they can use to, to yeah. whether it's research right. or the write moment, or something yes, like that? The moment they uh, register, it gives out the information of what they need to come with. Uh, definitely laptop and fully charged, and we will have power cars and everything that are available. And if you want to set up your own Teams network, you can bring your routers. Uh, you can bring all gadgets that you have. And um, uh, I think that that should be good enough. And the free uh, internet access uh, available at the UNF, and which is great. I just would like to add, Nancy, that we have, um, in addition to the planning of the actual event, we have these two um, kickoff events which are coming up on December 10th and January 7th, where we will be really getting ready uh, these participants for the event. So information like this will be uh, supplied during those uh, events okay. as well. Yes. And all of that information can be at jacksonville.startupweekend.org. Oh, yes. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, I really think this is interesting because for the last couple of years with all the economic stress, um, all you seem to hear about is um, let's get big business to hire people. And they are not doing it. And right. um, recently a Gallup poll came out. I don't know if you've seen this. I tend to, I'm on their list. Um, I want to say it was with maybe within the last two months. And what the Gallup poll is showing is that what's really going to kickstart the economy is new businesses starting. Right. That that's where the jobs are going to be created. So to have a weekend like what you guys are um, putting on here right. to kickstart that in Jacksonville is just it's huge. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the first ever startup weekend happening in Northeast Florida definitely uh, urge the viewers to take the advantage of this uh, opportunity and join us for the pre event kickoffs which will kind of get you a, a better understanding of what this is about and some of the of uh, some of the folks have sent us an email asking us uh, hey uh, I do not want to create a company I don't have an idea can I still come yeah you can come and you can be a part of the team you get to uh, build um, a team player kind of qualities and leadership skills there and uh, you you will definitely get to access these new technologies and get to know the new things of working with different teams. Oh. Well, let's talk about this first uh, pre-event, December 10th, which is a Saturday. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you said at the Southeast Regional Library yep. off of Butler. Mm -hmm. yep. Is that correct? Yep. That's at correct. 1.30. Yep. Mm -hmm. at one. So anybody who's got the slightest interest at all yep. can show up yes. at the library That's at 1.30 on Saturday, December the 10th, and get their questions answered. Absolutely. That's and right. if somehow they miss that event, then on January 7th, mm -hmm. yes. Is that also at the Southeast Regional Library? No, it's at uh, Cowork Jacks. So do you have more information? Lisa? It's at Cowork Jacks, <laughs> right downtown at 10 a.m. And Cowork Jacks is going to be opening up. It's going to be a brand new location, and it, it is actually a space where people, like freelancers or individuals who are starting their own businesses, can come together, collaborate, share ideas, and it's going to be a really cool place to check out. Well, uh -huh. tell us a little more about this. This is the first I've heard about it. <laughs> 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 well, it's under construction right now, and and it is above Purdue Office Interiors, right downtown. So I think it's right there on the corner of Forsyth. Elton Rivas is the entrepreneur who has started ah, Cowork okay. Jacks. Right, right. Okay. And he is bringing other entrepreneurs together in this location, in this spot, yeah. where they can use yeah. office equipment and meeting rooms. Yeah. They can have little workspaces, as well as they are, there will be green screens there. Yeah. So if someone wants to shoot their video <laughs> or have as a website project, there's plenty of space to do all of that. Yeah. So this it's a great a, location. Yeah. This is a high-tech facility, and Cowork Jacks is also sponsoring the event mm -hmm. by offering uh, free space to winners of this uh, uh, Startup Weekend, Jacksonville Startup Weekend. So we plan to announce three winners. Uh, one so it sounds like it's almost like a technology incubator. Yeah. It is. It is definitely a good location for people 
to share ideas. Entrepreneurs mm -hmm. can come, they can have workspace, they can have meetings, they can mm -hmm. use office equipment, they can share ideas, and in some sense it is an incubator, but it's also a place where entrepreneurs can come and just do work and collaborate with other entrepreneurs like themselves. Very exciting. It is yep. exciting. Very exciting. Yep. Now, MJ, you're the, um, the president of Indo US Chamber of Commerce, right? No, executive director. Uh, uh, executive yeah. director, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but it really was, it was the Indo-U.S. Chamber that started this whole thing, yes, correct? Yes, and we started a cell under Indo-U.S. Chamber called iStart, and then that became an entity by itself. So iStart Jax is working with a global uh, team that sits in California, and we've been working with them to bring this event to Jacksonville. And, uh, the, you know, and, and one thing great about this event is when you present the ideas, they all get ranked and voted on Friday. Now, these ideas that are high-ranking ideas, we take them forward to work on them. Uh, during Saturday, you get to meet mentors who are serial entrepreneurs who've been there, done that. So you get to meet them, talk to them, and then from there onwards, you continue to work until Sunday evening. Everything comes to a halt on Sunday evening. At 5 o'clock, we start the business plan presentations, the prototypes. So um, that's where we will announce the winners. Now, in Tallahassee, just to give an example, 13 ideas were selected out of 40, and those 13 ideas became 13 startup companies on Sunday evening with their logos, with their websites, and all the solutions they put together. So we hope to create uh, uh, 10 plus, you know, the startups in this weekend event. I think it's exciting. Tell us a little bit, uh, and, and we're almost out of time, yeah. but tell us a little bit about the, the type of mentors that people can expect to interact with at this event. Yeah, we are reaching out to people who are who have been there, done that, <laughs> and who are s successful entrepreneurs and who can really be kind of guides to the, the participants there. So we are, again, reaching out to individual entrepreneurs or the um, institutions who have offices, like for example, University of North Florida, they have entrepreneur's office. So somebody who's there, uh, David Hayes. Mm -hmm. So, so that that is the kind of uh, setup we are reaching out to. Excellent. Right. right. Also, some of the technologists who are like uh, Android uh, uh, experts, uh, uh, Microsoft experts, um, and also the uh, the iPhone uh, development experts. So all these uh, technologists are going to be there uh, who have started their own companies and who have developed the solution. So uh, it's going to be a great place to get some kind of mentoring through them and uh, f refine or fine tune your uh, solutions. And you know, for a successful team, you need all kinds of people, yes. developers, Absolutely. technology, yes. non-technology. Mm -hmm. yes. So we are looking for mentors who would have those sets of qualities. Excellent. <laughs> so what's your goal? Is it 10 businesses? Uh, no. <laughs> we are uh, looking at creating at least 10 startups, uh, but we will declare three winners, yes. uh, which is uh, you know the first place, second place, and the third place. Mm -hmm. Now, each one of these winners are going to take away in-kind services from our sponsors, such as, uh, like Ujwala mentioned, uh, free spaces, free CPS services, free, free attorney services. So all this uh, will be uh, put together and given away to the winners. and. I, I, apart from this, each participants they are getting a lot of discounts from our sponsors for various services. So it's it's a lot of the uh, resources being given to the participants, and we expect definitely ten plus startups well, to be created. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. I wish you great success with this event. You and the audience, make sure you register before December twenty first. Seventy five dollars. It's jacksonville.startupweekend.org. Thank you for being with us today, and thank you for joining us today. And come back next time, and we'll be speaking to business. Bye now.